course, in the St. Louis area, we have sub-freezing temperatures still this morning, but no reports of freezing rain or freezing drizzle or anything in the area right now. But we have our very own Mike Seidel, who's standing by in St. Louis this morning. Good morning, Mike, and how are things right now? Good morning, Vivian. It is a beautiful, beautiful day here in St. Louis. A little cold this morning, but the sun is out. Lots of blue skies here as uh, we're just... Uh, off across the street from the river and the uh, famous arch here on the banks of the Mississippi in St. Louis. A very fine rush hour, no major problems as far as weather goes. Uh, the freezing drizzle from yesterday uh, dissipated overnight and, you know, the normal accidents with a rush hour, but nothing really weather related. Temperatures today expected to be in the upper 30s, which is still 20 degrees below normal. By the weekend, though, it will be much warmer. And it is this warm air from the Gulf of Mexico uh, streaming north over the very cold air you mentioned, Vivian, which is going to cause the problems tonight and tomorrow north of here as far as the snow, sleet, and freezing rain. And with that cold air kind of locked in place across Minnesota and the Dakotas and parts of Iowa, we're looking for uh, some more freezing rain, which will cause problems on the highways. And although we're um, signing off here from St. Louis, we're going to be heading north, our Weather Channel crew and myself, and we'll be back with you with more continuous live coverage as the storm develops in the Midwest, and we'll see you later on this afternoon and this evening from Minneapolis-St. Paul. Okay, thanks very much, Mike. Of course, from the live update from the St. Louis area, and uh, of course, Mike and the rest of the Weather Channel crew will be following our winter storm as it develops a little farther north and perhaps a little farther west. We'll be checking in with Mike and the uh, photographers from the Weather Channel, of course, later in the day into tomorrow as our main winter storm develops across the Midwest.